We are SGOC Media, and this is the Quit Jerking Off Initiative. Anybody who's listening to the podcast that has Ali Boone's name on it, um, <laughs> they get to know what Ali Boone does, right? They get to know where you spend your time, how you make your money, how you built your business, and all that kind of crap. But we want to know while we're standing here, who, who are you? Who are, who are you? Why do you go do all that stuff? There's a reason you're doing it. You know, I grew up in a, I think, totally typical mindset of go to school, get good grades, get a good degree, get the secure job, save, retire. It's the routine, right? Mm-hmm. We were all taught it. And so I did that, and I did it with flying colors. Like, I had just a kick-ass job. Like, I was a top-secret flight test engineer. You know, I had what people perceived to be the dream job. Mm-hmm. And, but it was never my dream. Part of it was like, I don't want to work for anybody. And I don't want to work for corporate all that kind of stuff, but as it's evolved, it's one thing to work on myself. It's another thing to help the world. And so the things I thought were gonna be important turned out to not. And so as I've evolved, that's the question I'm asking myself, is like, there's me, and then there's my part in this world, and what I want that to be. I can't imagine that any of us are born knowing exactly who we are. I know through like my experiences, like I thought I was one thing, then I thought it was another thing. Yesterday I thought I was something, today I'm something. You know, it's kind of like, I almost sometimes feel like I have split personalities. And, you know, looking back, the way that I grew up, the way that I got into the jobs that I did, all of that, and then that transition out. And I've learned a lot about myself to know that I'm not who I thought I was. You know, I went from aerospace engineering into real estate. I talk about real estate all the time, like you said on the podcast, but it's like, what does real estate get me? And that's actually the more important thing. And it gets me time, enjoyment. Uh, I can pursue other ventures, but I can also start helping people. It's not just helping people to help other people. It's following a passion. Like, we all kind of have different things that just, like, grab us by the heartstrings. And so, you know, just in the last five years, I've started exploring that for myself. A lot of people don't have the balls, if you will, to follow that because it does create anxiety. It's, you know, it's scary. We were supposed to follow this certain path, all those things. It's like, well, if I'm going to completely venture off this path, probably by myself, because everyone else is going to be busy telling me not to do it, it can be fearful. You know, we don't know what we're stepping into. Like, if I go, if I stray from the herd, you know, what what's going to happen? Am I going to get caught in a barbed wire fence? Like, and you probably will. But it's, it's the willingness to do that. Nothing and wrong with getting caught in the fence as long as you get your ass out. Exactly.